Hello everybody, Dokkan Assets here. Today we are back with another SA analysis video. It has been a fat minute since I've done one of these videos and I really, really wanted to get back into the swing of doing them. I wanted to do for Goku and Hit, but we're doing it for our boy Trunks. I have a lot to say about this SA. Um, we are going to watch through it in one time speed, regular, just everything, one time. And then I will kind of give you my full and complete thoughts on everything uh, that we have in front of us here today. So obviously, if you have not heard, we are getting a Dokkan Fest Transforming Trunks next. And the essay that you're seeing right now is the Heart Virus Goku. That is going to be the secondary unit um, on the banner, which is kind of interesting because obviously... Um, you know, that comes after the scene with Trunks, so I think it's kind of interesting that they chose that, but we have the base SA, which is pretty cool. We have the transformation active skill. By the way, I'm not going to be playing any audio for this just because since we're going to be scrolling through and doing it at, you know, like slow speeds, it's going to sound really wacky, but the OST sounds heat. I cannot wait to hear uh, the new OST. If you want to obviously um, watch the SA, I'll have it linked at the end of the video or hear um, the OST rather. I gotta say, absolutely though, this is my favorite of these essays. Like 100%, this is so good. There's literally like only one thing that I was really hoping for um, in the essays that I didn't end up getting. Uh, so let me just say that real quick before we analyze Goku's essay real quick. The one thing that I was kind of hoping for with Trunks' essay was once he cut um, Frieza in half, I was really hoping that what it would do, like after this initial cut, you would see Trunks get cut in half as if your perspective was Frieza and your body is sliding in half, right? So then obviously your phone screen would seem like it got cut in half. Very unfortunate that that did not get added in, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead um, and analyze the essays that we have here. So. For Goku, um, obviously, uh, unfortunately, Dokana uploads their essays to Twitter in stinky quality. Um, but um, obviously, for Heart Virus Goku, this looks very, very good for a unfeatured banner unit um, already right off the bat, right? When not like powered up Super Saiyan, it's that very nice Cell Saga. Obviously, it's technically Android Saga, but Cell Saga um, hairstyle for Goku, right? Power up looks pretty good. Um, obviously, the hair color is very nice. The aura, the smoke effects, mwah. Dokkan always kills it with the smoke effects, I feel like. Um, the movement is also very nice. Very cool that they also referenced. Um, obviously, that's what he does in the scene, but also, funny enough, a card art in Dokkan. Um, this is pretty cool with these small sprites. They look pretty good, nice and fluid. And the sprites on Goku, obviously, are very high quality as well. Um, of course, being from a newer essay, it makes sense. Giving my man the work. And this spin kick is very cool. Um, I really, really like, by the way, um, the way that they did the movement on his foot. Um, obviously, this is just a couple of frames, but they made the asset look like that it was swiping down. Um, I really don't have too many complaints, honestly, with this one. Um, I think it's really good. And then especially here at the end, the key looks great. And obviously him holding his chest. And that facial expression is spot on to the anime. That is literally perfect um, to how he looks in the anime when he's, you know, in this particular scene. It looks absolutely fantastic if I do say so myself. And then the blue also looks good. Obviously the intense expression on Goku um, fits because of course he's in a lot of pain. The only thing that kind of stinks is I will say that Kamehameha was really weak. Um, the smoke is fine and I guess the explosion is just okay because it's just kind of it looping. But this does feel like it doesn't really have a lot of impact after that great very impactful essay. Like just the thin beam moving and then it's like one frame and it just explodes i don't know it's just kind of lame but the rest of it absolutely fantastic so definitely going to be a cool unit to get um from the unfeatured pool for sure now moving on to trunks obviously we have the base form essay here first this shot is very very cool I have to say that is one consistent theme um, that I've seen in this essay so far is that there are a lot of great standstill shots in this 
obviously this looks super high quality with him moving his hair out of the way looks really really good if i do say so myself and of course jumps to him charging forward the hair moving um is also really really nice love the anime effect lines too um also a very neat touch i will say i'm not always a fan of Dokkan doing smaller animations, I guess. Um, like, you know, when Trunks was just charging forward here, right? I don't know. I think it's just because I'm so used to seeing the higher quality assets, right? When they're a little bit closer up. It makes this feel like the SA is like a little bit older, right? It just kind of like... I don't think that it's bad necessarily, but I feel like that Dokkan could do better than that. That was very nice though with the slide there, and then obviously um, having all of the cuts on the screen is very cool. Um, and then of course, this is super nice with him cutting right through. Obviously, this is supposed to be like him cutting through the minions, right? Very, very nice. I love the way that the hair flows as he dips out, and the shadow looks really, really cool. Very, very nice effect. So nothing too bad, I will say, the only complaint that I think I have about it um, is that if we go back to regular speed, it does feel a little bit disjointed. Like, I think all of the individual parts are very, very nice. Now it feels like it's sped up, but it's just normal speed. Um, but it's like, I do feel like because it's trying to do a couple of different things in the one animation, um, it does feel a little bit like the first half is almost like kind of different than the second half a little bit um, Not too much, but like this whole thing where it's all the slashes right with the black I think feels a lot more connected than like this does. I Don't know. I could just be you know kind of I Don't know thinking the wrong thing. I guess it is just my opinion. So I suppose that is impossible um, But I think you understand where I'm trying to go with that um, on to the active skill animation, um, the one thing that I will say about the active skill animation, um, as much as I think that it is pretty good, um, I feel like it could be better. Um, the hair flowing is nice, obviously the dust flowing is really good too, um, obviously no complaints from me there. This shot also panning up his body is pretty cool too. Of course, this is the scene where, you know, it's like, oh, Goku's not the only Super Saiyan around. And then he transforms. Uh, very, very nice shot. Obviously, the assets look really good. I will say, though, it is kind of weird that they just, like, cut from, like, they cut from the back to here to here. Like, it would have been cool if they almost would have spun around his body, of course. Part of this, keep in mind, some of my critiques could be a little bit null, just because obviously um, I usually like to wait and see when they, you know, have it compared side by side to the actual anime if they do that in the anime, because obviously if they do in the anime, then, you know, that's a little bit more, um, you know, understandable. Mouth flaps look good, um, and then we have the transformation here um, with his hair kind of going up. I really like the key, funny enough, than I like Trunks. I feel like it's just too static of a power-up, especially for how impactful this scene is. But I feel like the key low-key kind of saves it for me. Uh, no pun intended, by the way. Because um, the key just looks absolutely fantastic flowing up his body. Um, I think a couple people were saying on Twitter, funny enough, and I 100% agree. This looks like fighters, and I believe it is quite literally just his fighter's intro when he transforms. Um, right down to the way that the effects look, so... It makes sense that it looks this way, because obviously for the fighters' intros when they first transform, it's supposed to be quick, fast, and it's supposed to represent, hey, you know, <laughs> we're ready to throw hands right here, right now, right? The one thing I will say is a little bit weird about it, though, um, is if we do take a look at the card art, right? Literally, the two card arts that are, like, you know, supposed to represent this card and his animations are not present in his actual animation, which I do think is a little bit weird, right? The scene where obviously, you know, he's in this pose and he's sort of like glowing lightly and then, you know, he transforms is not the animation for this, right? Like they opted to go the fighters route rather than the anime route, um, which just seems a little bit odd to me. I don't know, like you would think that if they're gonna base the card art off of it, that they would decide to you know, like, 
put it in the animation? I don't know. Um, for reference, by the way, what I'm talking about, it is this um, specific animation right here. Obviously, that um, is the card art, right? So it's just kind of weird that they didn't include that um, in the transformation, despite it being the art. I know they've done that for Dokkan cards in the past, where the art doesn't necessarily reflect the essay, which is understandable. It's obviously, you know, supposed to be the entire scene all together, rather than just, you know, the moment from the card art, but just still a little bit odd. All right, so moving on to the essay here, this is 100% my favorite thing um, that we had introduced. I think, funny enough, I like Heart Virus Goku right after that. It's just so cool. Um, there are a lot of nice close-up shots in this. There's a lot of nice intense trunk shots as well. This literally looks perfect with him getting ready to do the burning attack. The way that his arms move are literally perfect and exactly how it was in the anime. The burning attack setup looks nice and the way that the key glows around his hands is perfect. Obviously the effect, kind of like comic book sound effects also in there look pretty good too. And then of course we have it firing off which also looks very nice and the key blast actually looks like it has some impact with the impact uh, lines coming off of it, right? The explosion. And then Chunks flying forward, the hair also moving too, slash, very, very nice. That expression, oh, so good. Um, obviously, the jacket moving is very impressive too. And then, of course, we have all of these slashes here. Um, do they repeat a couple? It kind of looks like they do. And then, of course, when he takes him out, even though it is a little bit smaller, obviously, um, the sprites, or technically just the assets in this case, are super high quality and a very, very nice KO screen, if I do say so myself. I love the added touch of the smoke. Obviously, Freeze's remain sort of burning up, um, you know, with the key blast. Very, very good stuff there. I want to watch it one more time in regular speed. Um, it is very, very clean. I think that they did this specific scene super, super well, um, if I do say so myself. It's extremely clean. Um, this looks really good in motion. I think literally the only thing that I don't like from this, maybe, um, is when the key blast is flying forward right before the explosion. Um, I understand that it's kind of just because of, like, the way that the Dokkan sprites work, I guess. Literally, like, that looks pretty good, but then that, right, I feel like could use a little bit more, I don't know, like, movement to just make it feel a little bit more, um, I don't want to say realistic, because obviously it's an anime, but you know what I mean, accurate. Overall, though, I do quite like these animations. Um, you can definitely tell that this is a modern-day Dokkan essay. Um, I am definitely a fan of this guy. Um, I will probably be throwing one multi just because obviously since Heroes is around the corner, your boy is trying to save up for that. But if I can get him in one, that would be fantastic. But as always, let me know what you guys think of his animations in the comment section below. Um, I am most certainly a fan. Um, and other than that, I will uh, see you guys in the next one as well, actually. Let me know if you're going to be summoning for this guy now that you've seen um, his animations a couple times. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Dokkan Assets out. Peace.